So today, I am going to talk about what I did to attract $50,000 into my business at one time. I desire to have this amount for a project, and uh, I am going to tell you how I did that using my wallet, but I also have some amazing news about wallets in general. beautiful ones dr. Fran here back with another video so today I am like ultra excited because I have something dynamic to share with you guys now you guys know a while ago I did um, a video on manifesting with your wallet and how you need to clean out your wallet take care of your wallet so that you can attract more money well recently I used my wallet to attract fifty thousand dollars and uh, I <laughs> I am always blown away with the move of the universe and how spirit moves when you pay attention to inspired action and you pay attention to what is going on in your life but not only that when you have clarity around the things that you desire all right so before I go all into that let me just say thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you for subscribing I am so grateful for you thank you so today I am going to talk about what I did to attract fifty thousand dollars into my business at one time I desire to have this amount for a project and uh, I am going to tell you how I did that using my wallet but I also have some amazing news about wallets in general so you guys know the first video which you probably are seeing up here right now the link to that I suggest you go back and watch the first wallet video before you watch this one so I would stop this video right now and I would go back and watch that video first then I would come back over here and watch this video all right so let me just jump into it let me just jump into it because you guys know I love to share so I'm not this big masters of suspense I'm gonna give it to you all right so recently I was desiring to do some things in my business and get an addition to what I already have as far as business is concerned. I have a couple of spiritual businesses and I have some other businesses on the side, but I really wanted to advance my spiritual business. And I was thinking about how I could attract manifest or create this $50,000 and uh, I was just kind of milling and milling over it and remember I believe that you should keep your business to yourself unless you have a life coach a mentor a spiritual coach somebody that you know is on your team really really on your team and has your best interest at heart you need to keep it shut right Okay, so I was like really milling this over myself. Like I was just like, what have I done in the past? What has worked? What have I done? Went to my journal, went to my journal because I write everything down in my journal. I write down results I have. I write down my desires. I write everything in my journal. And so I kept flipping through my journal trying to see some of the things that I did to attract big amounts of money, right? So one of those things was I had to believe for the amount I was asking for, as we always talk about, but I also had to make room. Are you guys listening? Y'all hear me? I had to make room for the money. So I wasn't desiring the $50,000 because I didn't have $50,000. I didn't have a place to take $50,000 from to invest 
in my new venture. So I needed new flow. I needed new abundance. Because I want to keep my other things going. I desire to have new abundance, right? So I started going through my notes and one of the things that I did when I was trying to attract big money was I changed my wallet and I cleaned my wallet. Because if your wallet is crushed and crammed full of receipts, maxed out credit cards, um, oh, who got, who knows? I heard one lady tell me, oh, I have an old food wrapper in here. I was keeping it so I could get the calorie contents off of it. People keep the most amazing and incredibly disturbing things in their wallet and their purse, right? But if you think about it, when you are cluttered, like if your house is cluttered, if your mind is cluttered, if your wallet is cluttered, you are not going to have an opening for the law of circulation to work for you. And the law of circulation states that what you give out comes back to you. But if it has no place to come back to, where is it going to go? Right? And when I taught the money mindset detox, we talked a lot about decluttering the mind, but not only the mind. There were so many other contents and, and, and components to decluttering so that you can increase the flow of abundance. And your wallet is one of those. So, let me tell you the good news, first of all. After the first wallet video that I did. I used a Tory Burch wallet at that point and I had a pink Tory Burch wallet, right? And everybody was saying, friend, where can I get a red wallet? Where can I get that wallet? Where can I get it? And I tried to work some things out in that direction and I was not able to do that. So I just kind of prayed about it and I left it because that's what your girl does, right? I try not to worry about it once I give it to God. Once I give it to the universe, I try not to worry about it. So this particular thing was not pressing to me at that point, right? So I figured, okay, I'll find some wallets, I'll link them into my Amazon store, and I'll tell people, here are red wallets. Could not vouch for the quality of those wallets because I did not know. But I recently received an email and acquired some coach wallets. Genuine coach wallets. Okay? Someone reached out to me because they had saw my video and said, I know that's an old video, but I used what you said in that video, I tried it before I reached out to you, and uh, I just, I'm telling you, my sales are off the hook. She said, so, I would love to partner with you with these coach wallets. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wrote about having access to good quality wallets so that I could dress them for my clients and prepare them for my clients and you're now saying that you're going to gift me X amount of wallets and then I purchase X amount of wallets and I can use these for my clients who are asking me about wallets? Wow. 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 <laughs> so that's the good news. I have a limited amount of coach wallets available. But let's talk about the really good news. I am going to offer these coach wallets for sale fully dressed, charged, and ready to use. So not only <laughs> can you buy a good coach wallet, an authentic coach wallet, it's going to be ready for you to use it. Now let's talk 
talk about what you need to do to attract money in your wallet. Let's talk about what you need to do to attract money into your wallet. Now, I attracted $50,000. That's what I asked for. That's what I had clarity around. So that's what I attracted. Now, cleaning out my wallet and preparing my wallet to receive was one of the biggest components to attracting this money. I'm telling you. Hadn't cleaned my wallet out in a while. I'm usually very diligent about it, but we had been traveling and we had went on family vacation and I had tons of stuff in my wallet. I needed to clean my wallet. So the first thing that I did was I opened my wallet. Now this is a brand new wallet, so there's nothing in here. The first thing I did was I opened my wallet, right? And I'm going to clear some of this paper and stuff out of here. Because, again, this is a brand new wallet. So I went into my wallet. The first thing I did was I went into my wallet and I took out everything that was unnecessary. So all the receipts I had in here, all the, everything I had in here, gift cards, whatever I had in here that was not of any value, I took it out. Then once I took everything out of my wallet... I saged my wallet, right? I saged my wallet. I gave thanks for my wallet. I cleared the energy in my wallet. Once I cleared the energy in my wallet, I began to redress my wallet. Now, here's the thing. Feel free to do this yourself. If you feel like you can do it, you got a wallet you want to do it with, feel free to do it. However, some of the things that I used in my wallet, we don't sell. So, after I cleared my wallet, after I cleared my wallet, I began to put things back into my wallet. So, I put all my credit cards in my wallet. I put five of these envelopes in my wallet. Now, if you purchase a wallet from us, it will come with five of these envelopes already in it. All right, and then I put my cinnamon sticks in my wallet, right? I took my cinnamon sticks and I put them in the coin part of my wallet, right? Put my coin, put my cinnamon sticks in there. Then I put my money attracting herbs in my wallet. Everything that I'm telling you will come with your wallet, right? So I put my money attracting herbs in my wallet. And then I put my Centrine chips into my wallet. All right? And then I put two crisp $100 bills in my wallet. Now, I would love to tell you that your wallet's going to come with two crisp $100 bills. It may come with something, though. You never know. But I put two crisp $100 bills in my wallet. At that point, I took my money mixed oil that we don't sell. Then I took my Mo Money Goddess Oil, anointing oil, that we do sell. And I anointed my wallet, right? You should anoint your entire wallet, right? You don't oil your wallet up. You should anoint your wallet. And as you are anointing your wallet, you speak and affirm good things about your wallet. You bless your wallet, right? Did you guys know that there is a money blessing prayer for your wallet? Do you know that you should bless everything in your life? your wallet included, your purse, your bank account, your business, your home, your children, your health. You should bless everything in your life. That's a whole nother video and I'm gonna get to it because it's important. I held my wallet in my hand and I begin to give thanks and praise for the money coming to me. So let me talk about some things right here. Right? Let's talk about some things right here, right now. I did not 
say, I thank you for sending Sugar Daddy to give me $5,000 and then I'm going to make $5,000 from my job and I didn't do that. I said, I am so thankful and grateful for the divine source, the infinite source of abundance. Bloom, 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 bloom. Blessing and guiding me with inspired actions and sending unexpected, lavish abundance. And I said it like I meant it, right? But not only did I say it that day, I said it every day I opened my wallet. Whether it had money in it or not. Now, it always has these, as you can see, these two $100 bills in it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I keep them in this envelope. Recently, I had someone send me a thank you card. And it had two $100 bills in it. I was not expecting that. And yes, I cried like a baby. But I tell you what I am expecting. Overflowing infinite abundance from the universe. See, when you know who your source is, you don't worry about where the money's coming from. I had no idea where the $50,000 was coming from. I, I had no idea. I did know a couple of things. I was not getting a loan. I was not going to borrow it. And I was not going to ask anybody but God for it. I knew that for sure. But I knew also that I had to make room to receive the money. If I did not make room to receive the money, the money was not going to come. Listen, if you are cluttered, packed down, uh, you got clothes, uh, stuff to the max, up to your ceiling, you don't have room for the universe to deliver you anything else. You have to make room. The way that I make room for financial blessings, I will tell anybody, anywhere, I don't even care who, I am tithing my way to wealth. I am a wealthy woman because I tithe. I tell everybody that anybody who will listen I am a wealthy woman because I am tithing my way to wealth I give and I expect it to be given there is no other way no other way so I made room in my wallet for the $50,000 I had checks in my wallet I hadn't cashed it was incredible. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to have to tell the truth about this one. I'm going to have to let people know that I didn't clean my wallet. I was so busy. But I was also busy asking, right? Journaling about it. Writing it down. It's coming. I know it's coming. But I had no room to receive it. The minute I made room to receive it, I got a check for $25,000 and then and then I got another check from a family member for $25,000 when I tell you when you get clear, when you make room, God shows up. There is no other way. And not only does he show up in your life to be your light and to heal your body and to send you that exceptional love experience you want and to make your business boom, God shows up as the source of of your financial supply. Every single time I tithe, 
money comes back to me. When I help somebody after I've tithed, money comes back to me. There's no other way. You gotta make room for your blessings. So whether you decide to get a coach wallet from Dr. Fran or not, clean your wallet. Clean your purse. Take a hold of your finances. Find out how much money you really have in the bank. Look for things that you don't even know you may have. You may have money in, in purses and stuff that you haven't cleaned out that you don't even know you have. What about those checking accounts you closed years ago? Did you go get the money? What about when you changed jobs and you had a 401k? Did you get the money? Did you transfer that money? You have to be mindful of your money. Whole nother video. But if you are wanting to attract more money in your life, declutter your wallet, declutter your purse, declutter your house, find your prosperity corner, declutter it, and make room for the money that you're asking to receive because it will come. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. So excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Remember on this channel, we are raising consciousness and changing mindsets one video at a time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.